Welcome to the fifth video in this series on using Substance 3D Modeler. At this point, whether you follow the first four videos centered in desktop or VR, you should have a basic grasp on navigation, tool usage, and scene assembly. This video and the ones to follow will be focused on one feature or concept. We'll be covering these in both desktop and VR together. How these concepts work will be more or less the same. This video will be a brief coverage of resolution, how to change it, and how it affects your tools, the details in your layers, and your whole scene. Resolution can make a big difference between low and high detail sculpts. Each layer is a voxel grid, which works like a 3D version of a rasterized image like a JPEG. The voxels would be the 3D version of pixels. A low resolution layer will have less detail and sculpting on the layer will have a blockier effect with less sharp edges and corners. Tools will work faster since less voxels are affected and the layer will take up less memory. A high resolution layer will have more detail and sculpting on the layer will have a cleaner effect, easier to have sharper edges and corners. Tools at the same scale might work slower since more voxels are affected and the layer will take up more memory. Each layer in Modeler has its own resolution, which you can get a short preview of when you hover either the Increase or Decrease Resolution buttons, found in the Actions menu and the bottom bar here, or the Actions menu and the side of the palette in VR. Increasing resolution doubles the voxel grid density for a layer, and the amount of detail you can fit into the same space. Checking the resolution preview by hovering one of the resolution buttons, the grid size of the layer is now more dense. There's no limit to resolution or boundary for how large a sculpt can be, aside from what your machine can handle. Remember, the higher the resolution, the slower your sculpting tools and edits of the layer's contents will be, because much more of the voxel grid is being affected. Adding clay might be very crisp, but not quite as smoothly connected, and the smooth tool will work a little slower. Here's the same example in VR, where the effect of the clay tool is a little more obvious. Different tools will be impacted differently, but Warp Tool is a good example of a tool that can work much slower on higher resolution layers. Decreasing resolution does the opposite, decreasing the voxel grid of a layer by half and potentially losing some finer details. Here, the preview shows a less dense grid. Sculpting tools will work a little faster and more smoothly with a lower resolution. This is a balance between detail and speed. Adding clay might not have edges as sharp, but will be much more smoothly connected and easier to use the smooth tool on. Again, this can likely stand out more in VR. Warp tool is another good example where it will work much faster on lower resolution layers, which also means that you can more easily use it at much larger sizes. Resolution and relative scale are tied together. As you zoom in, the scene grows larger. The density of the voxel grid on this layer isn't changing, but because the layer appears larger, the grid will appear less dense. Editing this layer at this scale will appear as if the resolution is lower, similar to working zoomed in to a JPEG image. The same happens in reverse. When you zoom out, the density of the voxel grid hasn't changed, but it will appear more dense because the same grid is smaller or farther away relative to you. This should feel pretty obvious on the desktop and also in VR. Working very close up by growing the scale of the scene feels lower resolution than working on the same layer with the scene shrunk down. This is important to clarify because the select tool allows you to change the scale of layers and it can feel like the resolution is changing without intending to. Instead of zooming out, we'll shrink this layer down to a smaller size. The resolution hasn't changed, the clay still takes up the same space in the voxel grid, but because it's smaller relative to the camera, the resolution will appear more dense. Editing this layer with the same tool size without zooming in or out, the tool effect takes up much more of the voxel grid space. This is effectively the same as keeping the layer the same size, but increasing the size of the tool much larger. Because the tool is taking up much more of the grid, it's as if you were sculpting on a higher resolution layer. Your tool size stayed the same, but the size of the layer is smaller. So the tool affects a larger portion of the grid. Similarly in VR, instead of changing the scene scale with the grip buttons, let's shrink this layer down. Again, the relative scale to you has changed, but only for this layer. The resolution preview will appear more dense, 
Sculpting on this layer now, the same tool size affects much more of the voxel grid. When scaling content with the Select tool, be wary that although the resolution hasn't changed, your relative scale to that layer might be different enough that it feels like working in a much higher or lower resolution. This can be easier to forget in VR, but it can happen on the desktop as well. So, when you increase or decrease the resolution of a layer, you effectively change the amount of space the clay takes up in the voxel grid, while the relative scale of the contents to you stays the same. This was mentioned in a previous video, but making a new layer while editing a layer will adopt that layer's resolution. This layer on the left is a lower resolution, and this layer on the right is a higher resolution. Making a new layer while editing each of these will show that the new layer will match. The relative scale may affect this as well. These two layers are the same resolution, but one of them is scaled down with the Select tool. If you make a new layer while editing the smaller layer, the density of this new layer will appear much higher. This can feel more obvious with complex layers, but can be easily missed with simple layers, especially when quick copying them in VR. With several layers present, hovering a resolution button will preview a grid for all layers. You can also select multiple layers and change all of the resolution at once, or select a group and it will affect everything in the group. Be careful not to increase too many layers to too high of a resolution at once, or you might be waiting a while. When you want to merge several layers together, hovering the Merge button gives a preview of the final resolution. The final layer will always take on the resolution of the highest in the selection. Another reason to be aware when you're scaling down layers, especially since the final layer will be referencing a grid that's been heavily shrunk down. And that wraps part 5 in the series on using Modeler. The next part will be covering stamps.